little known but super simple tips you can use to help yourself make healthier choices while eating out because we all know what that's like to be sitting at a restaurant and just salivating over that beautiful menu, right? And go, oh, I just want five of everything. Well, you know what? If you use these four simple tips I'm gonna give you today, you'll be able to maintain your healthy choices no matter what time of year and no matter where you go to eat out or even get takeout, all right? So I hope these are gonna be super helpful for you today. If I haven't met you yet, hello and welcome. My name is Alicia Jones. I come to you live from Southern California. I love the Lord, I love my family, and I love to help women to lower inflammation, lose weight, keep it off, and really grow in confidence through a healthy lifestyle. So if that's up your alley, you're in the right place. I'm gonna give you four of these simple tips today because it's the holiday season. Right? Tip number one, if you're going out to eat, is to be careful on drinking your calories. Choose between a drink or a dessert because both of them will have probably extra sugar and calories. <laughs> so not to say don't have anything, just have one or the other. That's a very simple thing you can do instead of layering on all the extra calories, sugar and fat, which turns into, oh, by the way, it turns into this. This is a pound of fat for you. The thing with the fat is that we can't really tell. It doesn't come in chunks. It just comes little by little and that's what causes gradual weight gain over time. That's how come nobody intends to gain weight over time. That's because it happens very slowly and it's hard to get a hold of. But if you do this something very simple like save yourself, um, I don't know, 50 grams of sugar from a sugary beverage or 50 grams of sugar in a you know cake or pie, hey, you won't have to worry about that, right? So that's one simple thing you can do is choose between a drink or a dessert. Okay, that is tip number one. Tip number two is avoid filling up on empty calories. Like avoid um, the sugary drinks if at all possible, the alcoholic drinks if at all possible. Totally consider avoiding filling up on chips and bread before the meal, right? Depending on what kind of restaurant you go to, uh, they usually offer those things ahead of time and it's so easy. I mean, you can pile up, I mean, hundreds of calories if you do the math on it, which is unnecessary, right? So again, not to say that you can't have that. I don't believe in deprivation at all. I believe in moderation, small portions, substitution, and very simple things like, you know what? Don't fill up on empty calories. That is tip number two, okay? Hopefully this is helpful. Three is choose a macro balanced meal. What does that mean? Macronutrients like, my boys lent me their Legos for this, proteins and carbohydrates. Keep them in the same portion size. If you get three ounces of chicken on your salad, you got three ounces of veggies. The trick with veggies though, be careful, interestingly enough, even though veggies are veggies and typically very healthy for you, they are still carbohydrates. So you just gotta be careful that those don't pile up too high with just a teensy bit of protein. So you can even add extra protein to your salad. I remember one time I went to a restaurant right up here by me um, at the mall and uh, I ordered a salad and I remember asking the server, hey, how many ounces of, uh, I think it was chicken at the time, how many ounces of chicken come on the salad? Because salad was kind of big. And he said, oh, three ounces. And I, I know because I know my portion sizes. By the way, if you want a fabulous portion size guide, it's in my recipe book. Um, just put recipe book down below and I will make sure to get you the information for this. It comes in paper or digital download. But when you have the information about how to make choices on your portion sizes, like the guide that teaches you here in this book, you'll know, like I did in that restaurant, wait a second, three ounces is kind of small. So I asked for extra protein. So that's something you can do too to help your choices be macronutrient balanced, even if it's a chicken salad. If you do the math on it, you'll see that you might need some more protein to balance out all those carbs in the vegetables, okay? So just remember veggies are still carbs. Interesting, right? That is tip number three for you. Number four is one of the easiest things, but not a lot of people know about it. That's how come I call this little known super simple tips because it's actually very simple. When you get, this is tip number four, when you get your meal delivered to you at the table, immediately ask for a to-go box, okay? And then when you get your to-go box, they'll bring it to you, right? Just immediately put half of your meal in the to-go box, close up the to-go box, and put it over here on the side, okay? Then you can eat half your meal at the restaurant, and probably you're gonna eat plenty and, and feel fine, right? I Probably with how big the portion sizes are at restaurants nowadays, half of it's gonna suit you just fine. And then you don't waste it, right? You take, up, you take home your leftovers and voila, you just got two meals for the price of one, <laughs> literally. <laughs> I'm not a fan of wasting anything. You can always reuse it and eat it, you know, for lunch tomorrow or serve it for dinner tonight or, or whatever the case might be for you. But that is a super simple way. If you get a to-go box, 
put half of your meal. I did this recently. I was at a restaurant with a friend. Uh, we were celebrating an event in their life and we got our meal and I, I looked at my plate and it was, I mean, probably this big. It had to have been like a 12 inch plate. And it was healthy stuff, by the way. That's the thing. I got a whole, it was like Mongolian beef. I got a whole bunch of, you know, beef and veggies. and But nonetheless, it was a huge portion size. So I did this little trick where I, I looked at it, and even though it was healthy, that's why I'm sharing this with you, you can put half of it away and take it home for later. So I think I ate it for like two more meals. <laughs> so, so you can do that too, all right? So I hope that these four tips have been super helpful for you. If you wanna get a hold of the recipe book, let me know. I'll make sure to get that information to you. You can put recipe book down below. And I hope that these tips were very helpful for you in helping you with your healthy choices throughout the holidays or really any time of year.